So I bought this game called Don't Starve. It's a um I bought it on GOG, good old games nowadays, known as GOG. Like it was on sale, they have this sale thing going on where they um have a very limited amount of copies of the game and um the numbers were going down really fast and I kind of impulse bought it. It was cheap though. So this game it's a um survival sandbox adventure type of game. You know the kind of game that's been popular since uh Minecraft became a thing and probably before that too. You play as this guy who kinda looks like a vampire of some sort. I think uh his name is Wilson. He's a gentleman scientist, but that doesn't really affect the game itself at all. So the majority of the game, as is typical for games like this, oh by the way I don't mind the sound, it's fine. I see high last sound. It got got into the recording. Um games like this and this game is no exception um, you, you basically just run around and pick up things you can pick up twigs and rocks and you can even pick up grass like I do here but um, I think the developers realized that eventually just picking up stuff might get boring so <clears throat> you can craft yourself an axe and that's another major major feature of this game. You can cut down trees. You can you can cut down a lot of trees. The game doesn't really have a lot of different trees though, it's just just one type of tree. That's the spruce tree. I don't think there's any other kind of kind of trees in the game. If you get bored of chopping down trees, you can also chop down animals, like here I'm chopping down spider. And um, after you chop down spiders themselves, you can also get to chop down the spider nest. I didn't know spiders live in communities, but it seems like every fantasy writer ever seems to disagree with me. I always thought spiders were sort of like um, uh, reclusive, you know, so low animals, you know, lone, lone animals. There's also different kinds of animals, like here I'm, here I'm chopping down a really fat bird called a golfer. It's not very small, it gets trapped near the shore and I kill it. It was pretty easy. I think the AI in this game is pretty bad. You can also start fires in this game. Actually, when you die, you unlock a another character called I am Willow. She's a girl, and um, the primary thing to like you don't really need to pick up anything or collect anything or chop down trees instead you you make fires but um this character really doesn't really work out when you go to places where you don't really have a lot of things you can light on fire like here I'm in a cave and it's dark you can't really see much. Well, I'm lighting that poop on fire, but... Okay, well, here's some more things you can light on fire. Also, um... There's a worm. Like, there's a big worm in this cave. And I think that's one of the tougher enemies. I try to kill him, but he does a lot of damage. I don't really know how you're supposed to be. Fighting in this game, everything does a lot of damage. 
And uh, here's another annoying thing about the game. You can see this. This Cyclops is chasing me. And all well, the AI in the game isn't very good, so he's never going to kill me. But but uh, he's also not ever going to give up. He's going to chase you until you die, I think. I try to burn him here, but it doesn't really work. He doesn't seem to care about the fire much. And then, uh, since you can't really pick up anything as this character, you inevitably end up starving at some point. And also because, um, the game is called Don't Starve, so um, you have to starve or else you're taking orders from a fucking video game. I don't care.